It's messy. Do you want to see? Hold on. You know why it's messy though, honestly? This is all clean. These are all clean dishes. It's because I'm, I'm going to be organizing them for the giveaway. And I really hope people can be, uh, really use these things. I don't want any money for anything. Um, well, that's a three-wick candle, by the way. It's not bad. So everything. I have this waffle maker. Strawberry stem. This is, this is dirty. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that I, like, even barely ever used. Cool, this water. Uh, that thing, that machine, mixology thing, a bunch of clean, never used Tupperware. These whiskers portions. I'll fill that in garbage. From the person who sent them. Oh, they're still a piece, that's why. Yeah, like, I keep it. I'm afraid I guess I have to. And then water. You're not coming here to walk all over in front of the camera. No. I'm sorry, but I draw the line. No! Come on, go eat the food. <laughs> so I have someone looking into the fact that um, for BBJ rehoming, but I'm going to bring her to the vet. I think she'll be suitable for rehoming, maybe. I mean, I think the vet will say that. But it'll have to be somebody who can specialize in, like, elderly pet care and not, you know? <laughs> but I want it to be local. I don't want it to be somebody who lives in the States and is willing to drive. It's just, like, it seems like such a hassle. You know, I just feel like keeping it local would be better. And then that way, too, just if anything happens, like, they want to give her back. Because I told, I told them, I know that I'm going to be quick. What are you going to do? How can you take them back? I would rather fly back here to find a better home for them or do something. I don't care what I would do. I would do anything rather than just want to give them away. Like, I don't trust that, you know? So if anything happens and they need to give the pets back, I'm, like, close. I don't know. Hi, Golden Girl. Hi, Missy. Hello, everybody. Leave what all for Pete's. No, Missy Moo is <laughs> no, it's not Missy Moo. Missing has a zoo. I think it needs to be like a quiet home for BBS angels. Because, you know, you're still spry. <clears throat> no smoking, no kids, and no dogs. Yes, preferably. I mean, I'm not like, you know, beggars can't be choosers. It's not. I'm trying to find a suitable environment for her. I'm not desperate. I'm afraid I have a noise at home. <laughs> yeah, we, the most important thing, like you said, Missy Moo, is just finding like somewhere that's like, I gotta think of her, you know? And that includes if your pet is suffering. So I, I really don't want that to happen. B. Suppose, while the topic of the cat is, uh, has come up, I did get a visit from uh, Animal Welfare. Anyway, so the uh, who's it? The Animal Welfare. Um, yeah, they saw no reason for concern. They said that she was bright, alert, uh, moving around okay. She seemed completely okay with them. Um, she's old, uh, obviously, but yeah, I mean, at this point, the only real problem she's got are that she is old. I've lived with her since 2004. I, I know. I've seen her. Like, you, you only seen her for a few years. And even then, you can probably notice in older vlogs. She, she's a lot more older looking now, but that will happen. But I just don't want her to have, like, diseases and kidney problems. And arthritis is very painful in cats. And, you know, like, I don't know. When it comes to pets, I'm just, like, a, a believer in, um, like, ethical euthanasia or whatever you call it. Mercy euthanasia. You're free. Just you, Harry, and Sala. Yeah. Well, if Harry was here, I would be rehoming him, too. BBJ web and <laughs> diagnosis. People all, yeah, exactly. She looks pretty good. Is she still bathing herself? Yeah. No, she wants to, no, she can't, there's no room. She, she, uh, somebody messaged me something funny. She bathes herself, she eats, she asks for treats, but she's doing weird things like a bit like, um, how can I say behavior? It's just like little behavior change things. She's more needy for sure. Like way more needy and weird. I don't know. You're a weird smelly old person. Go away. <laughs> Go away. BBJ and all cute balls. Please, please, please have a cute. Thank you. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you can't deny all my pets are cute. Don't. But most pets are cute. See, every time I kiss her, I get a cat hair in my face. Stop. <laughs> I'm not soft launching anything. Watch out for increased thirst. She has a lot of increased thirst, Torlini. She drinks so much. And what she's doing is, um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. <laughs> I have so many thoughts in my brain. Okay, I gotta wash these dishes. Why did I go live? I should have only gone live after I was like all set up, right? No, BBS Angels. He has a job interview? Have you tried eating her? Ew, no. I don't like tough old meat. I'm kidding. How about foster care until she can get adopted out? Mm. I'm gonna try to rehome her first and see what happens, but that's a good idea. Increased thirst can be like kidneys, yeah. Well, they did do a kidney test last time, which wasn't even a year ago, and she had, uh, kidney problems. Yeah. Well, they did do a kidney test last time, which wasn't even a year ago, and she had, uh, kidney problems. Yeah. Well, they did do a kidney test last time, which wasn't even a year ago, and she had, uh, kidney problems. <laughs> my cat diabetes could be a I don't think so she's not I don't know do thin cats get it too I know for humans they do but thin humans get diabetes but felines are different what's wrong with her besides being just elderly nothing oh I don't know I mean being elderly what do you mean just being elderly you think people like hit a certain age and then just die no you die from being old from incurring health conditions that are just due to old age which is what I'm what I'm telling you that BBJ probably has some of those like last time I brought her to the vet they just made it seem like you know she's old but I think, like, I remember the vet saying, I don't know if it was the last, it was the last time or the time before, I don't remember, that she, actually, most times I remember surprised by her age. I think she looks younger. Would you be, uh, ew, uh, hey, plus, why would I want to talk about these idiots? Like, I told me that pretty much 100% of cats develop kidney disease. 
but they can live. Yeah, I think a lot of them develop it, especially in old age. Mm -hmm. Missy Moo, you have such a kind heart and spirit. You do, Missy Moo. And that's why people don't. That's why if anyone dislikes you, that's why. <laughs> Any 20-year-old cat is going to have less function in kidneys. My 11-year-old dog is having kidney issues too. That says it's normal at her age, yeah. We don't off people just because they're old. There are, some countries, there are some countries that let you off yourself at a younger age if you have problems. It's not always just about age in some cases. When did Maria delete his com comment on your video? Miriam, I haven't seen any of my comments. What are you talking about? What comment? Aisha! Aisha! I can't sing. Okay, do I have to cook? Sorry, I'm gonna stop my phone now. It's still act like a bratty westerner. What do you want? Crystal, are you going to Kuwait because missing scares you? <laughs> no, I'm absolutely not smart aleck. Will you miss the luxury villa? No. I don't have very- I was talking like to people but I'm like, wait, I don't have very good memories here. It's salt. You guys never heard of Sifto? What country are you from? <laughs> Not Canada. Is Sifto Canadian brand? <sighs> Made applications. Cat shouldn't drink a lot of water. She's got health issues for sure. I think it would be cruel to prolong her life with medical inter without medical intervention. With medical intervention. It's unnatural. Yeah, like, no, literally people- I, 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 I honestly want to swing FFG around from the fat head by her dry-ass ponytail. I'm sorry, I try to be virtuous and pious, but anyways. <laughs> Every time! I, anytime someone sends me a, a picture of her friggin, yeah, just don't anymore, okay? Of her thumbnails of with BBJ about euthanasia. Do I have to remind you, you freaking weirdo, that you euthanized both your animals? One, because you prolonged his life because it was sick, okay, whatever. Two, your second one for grief or whatever, the, whatever, anxiety. So you have no right to, to even open your fat rubber band trap and tell me that I can't euthanize against the, when, when the vet tells me it's okay, of course, a 21 year old cat, okay? 2021, 20, whatever. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my god. Like, I, I can't believe these people. And you, SJM, you can shut up. You're a fat drunk, okay? Thank you. I'm tired of you too. Virtue signaling. What the hell? Get a life. You can't even spell disgusting on your stupid community post. <laughs> Sorry, I hate these people. <laughs> Let's not rage. It's true. Uh, it's true, though. I'm tired of this freaking... Oh, probably drunk on one of his rants, too. As usual. Like, why are you even watching? I'm gonna travel around the world. I hate hearing people say, you're going to drop your cat. I'm sorry that you're a pathetic cat dad. Okay. I'm sorry that you're a pathetic cat dad. Okay. I'm sorry that you're a pathetic cat dad. Okay. Like, with no life. What do you want me to do? Ignore the haters. Diego, nine months. Ready, sick, babies. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, honestly, it's so stupid that he's giving me crap. You don't know my situation. None of you know my situation. And, you're, and people will sit there and be like... And I'm not going to focus on it, but I'm going to say my point. Like, people will sit there and be like, you're going to drop your cats for a man who doesn't love you. And he, he put that who's a quarter of your age. Buddy, what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? Oh my god, it's so dumb. I know, it's just the brainlessness of it all. It's like a freaking brick wall with like nothing in it. No. Yeah, there would be nothing in a brick wall. It's like a freaking wall and inside is that old crappy asbestos that kills you from the 70s. What? Am I gonna be here for Halloween, Mimi? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, actually, I'm not gonna be celebrating Halloween. Maybe I will. It's like not really done in Islam, but I think some people do actually in, in privacy or whatever. I feel like a pig, but you know what? I'm going.